leader of the Labour Party, Jeremy Corbyn. There are obviously many problems that face the people of this country. Those problems actually emanate from our own government. A government failing on housing, failing on the NHS, failing to create good quality, secure jobs, and its own candy floss world of economic targets not even meeting those. The one certainty of George Osborne and his five-year plan is it's always five years away. It doesn't matter where you are, it's always five years down the line. I'm in favour in 2020 of a vote leave. Absolutely vote leave. Vote for the Tory government to leave office. Yeah. I thank all those that tried to bring in a European-wide protection of the steel industry, but at every turn, it's the British Tory government that has opposed any anti-dumping measures and allowed it to continue and allowed our own steel industry to be so grievously damaged. One British industry that is absolutely thriving and indeed they're promoting it all around the world. It's called the tax avoidance industry. <laughs> Quite disgraceful the way this government and Tory MPs have voted down proposals for country by country reporting of who the real beneficiaries of all this is. You cannot even begin to challenge the issues of climate change by one country alone. We either send pollution to Europe or receive pollution back from Europe. So those that say, leave, do it all on your own, well, it don't work like that. Because you know what happens? I'm really alarmed about it. There's polluted air and there's polluted water that has no respect whatsoever for national borders. If we'd had a mayor for the last eight years in London who was serious about air pollution, a lot more would have been done about it. Sadiq Khan, I'm very sure, is going to do a great deal about this to give us all clean air. <laughs> this Tory government wants to repeal the Human Rights Act. There are many who want to leave the European Convention on Human Rights. At the end of the Second World War, the realisation of the horrors of war led us to those international agreements. Human rights are not just a national concern, they have to be a universal concern. Do we work with people or do we walk away from people? Do we allow xenophobes to take over or do we instead occupy that political and intellectual territory of the idea that you can solve things together? You can build an alliance that opposes austerity. You can build an alliance that guarantees and promotes better working rights. That's what makes our movement the force for good, the force for democracy, the force for the environment, and the force for peace in the world. Thank you very much. <laughs>